looking for the most up-to-date news about Call of Duty Mobile? Find it all in this video. You know I'm alive What is going on you guys, it's your boy Ferg here back again with another Call of Duty Mobile video. In today's video we are going to be looking over a very recent blog post by Call of Duty staff on July 17th and we are also going to be looking into one of the directors at Activision. He is taking part in the development stages of Call of Duty Mobile. If you guys are hyped for Call of Duty Mobile make sure to smash that like button, comment down below what game mode you're going to be playing the most, whether it will be the zombies, the battle royale or just plain and simply the legendary multiplayer. With that being said, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications if you want to be notified of when I upload a video, because I upload videos every single day here on my main channel and also on my second channel, link down below, and let's get right into this. Okay, so first off, we're going to be looking at the blog post that was put up by Activision on their Call of Duty website. It was actually a question and answer with one of their developers known as Chris Plummer. And some of the questions that they asked in this was how does ranking up work in Call of Duty Mobile? How did teams approach the philosophy of progression, especially for mobile players? Is progression consistent across the game? What types of things slash items can I acquire in the game? Can players purchase items in the game? What currencies are in the game and how do they work? Are there supply drops in the game? Can I play Call of Duty Mobile for free? And how do I get Call of Duty Mobile? And how do I register for Call of Duty Mobile? Then after that, we will go in and look at Justin Taylor. He is a senior director of digital marketing at Activision, the home of Call of Duty. This guy is fairly active on Twitter, so I'm going to leave his Twitter down below in case you guys want to follow him, because I'm pretty positive that he will be updating people on Twitter around the release and the exact date of the Call of Duty Mobile release. So if you really want to keep up to date with that, his Twitter is down below. I'm going to be picking some of the more digestible questions here and then I'll leave the links to the actual blog post down below if you want to go in depth and look at them yourself. So the first question was how does ranking up in Call of Duty Mobile work? Chris Plummer said, we put a lot of thought and testing into our progression system in Call of Duty Mobile. We looked at how gamers like to play on mobile and also what our Call of Duty fans are familiar with. Leveling up works differently in Call of Duty Mobile in the ranks are associated with your progress in ranked play. You start with rookie rank and progress all the way up to legendary. So basically, if you've ever played Call of Duty before on console or you've never played Call of Duty before, basically what it is, is you start at the lowest rank and you progress your way up to legendary rank, which basically means that by playing the ranked mode, you can go up in ranks and show how skillful you are in the game. It's similar to the ranking system for PUBG Mobile, it's similar to the ranking system for Fortnite Arena, it's going to be similar to the ranking system of Rules of Survival, it's going to be similar to the ranking system of Black Ops 2 League Play, all of those games it will be very very similar to. One thing I can add is that when I was playing the beta I actually achieved Legendary, I was the first YouTuber to ever get to Legendary rank and it is not that hard, I must say. Maybe it's just because it was the beta, obviously, and there was a lot of new players, obviously. Um, but I could definitely see a lot of people getting up to Legendary. I'm hoping that they kind of cap it out at maybe around the top 500 players in the world get Legendary rank, and then if you're below top 500, you cannot get Legendary rank. Or maybe they'll add a rank later on down the line where you can get a rank above Legendary. Either way, players will earn ranked points for each ranked match and they will obviously lose ranked points if they lose the ranked match. However, individual performance does play a part in this. If you get a lot of kills and a lot of points, you will lose less and you will win more. You will also be able to earn some awesome rewards as you progress through the ranks like gun skins, outfits, and XP rewards, anything like that you'll be able to earn through this ranked mode. So the next question I'm going to read out and answer for you guys is what types of items can I acquire in game? In Call of Duty Mobile you will earn a variety of rewards just by playing the game. Through player leveling as well as through the free battle pass track. And what that means is there is a free battle pass and there is a premium battle pass you've seen this in many other games i believe there's one in pubg mobile where they have a free one and then you can buy the royal pass there's also one in real survival where you can buy the premium pass and then you also have the free pass there's also one in clash royale where you can buy the premium pass and have the free pass there's many games that have these kind of premium battle uh, passes throughout each season 
Um, you can actually buy one in-game right now. It's a pre-season pass, and you'll be able to keep that up until the game releases and further more into the game's life cycle. So if you get this game in the soft launch that it's currently in, I'll explain a little bit more about that later, you will be able to keep these skins that you get now. Items that you can acquire include weapons and weapon skins slash camos, character outfits and melee skins, grenade skins, backpack skins, emote sprays, helicopter skins, vehicle skins, parachute skins, glider skins, and weapon XP cards. Now obviously the Battle Royale mode has things like helicopters and vehicles in it, the multiplayer does not, so you can basically get skins for both the multiplayer and the Battle Royale mode, and I'm going to go ahead and guess that you'll be able to get um, some skins for the Zombies mode as well, which I am pretty excited for, because there's not really a shooting game um, out right now in the entirety of the world where there is a, like a casual zombie kind of theme to it and um, that's big so I'm hoping that this is maybe going to be the first one but players can purchase certain content directly through the store as well or purchase weapon experience cards to speed up the progression of, of leveling weapons and unlocking attachments these cards are earned by playing the game as well so you can earn cards and um, either by <laughs> by straight up just buying them kind of pay to win but it's all good um, or you can play the game and you can earn them and how that basically works is the more kills you get with the gun the higher your level goes up and each match you play your level will continually go up until it reaches level 10 and then you will have unlocked every attachment for that gun what types of currencies are in the game and how do they work credits credits are only earned through playing the game and can be used to purchase items in the store player credits Players earn credits on a regular basis from logging in, playtime, in-game events, and through the free battle pass. There's also a currency called COD points here. Players can purchase COD points to purchase tier skips in battle passes, items in the store, or just straight up just buy the whole premium battle pass. Are there supply drops in the game and how do they work? We are looking at ways to give players more ways to engage with content. In the coming weeks, we will begin to roll out supply drops that our Call of Duty community is familiar with in two forms. The Daily Supply Drop, a daily reward package that is given out free to all players that contains a wide set of rewards or a premium supply drop. These include higher rarity items and they are earned gradually through active play. The top prizes for premium supply drops are epic weapons, top notch com cosmetics compared to lower rarity items. Premium supply drops can also be purchased with COD points. Can I play Call of Duty Mobile for free? Absolutely, yes you can. I don't even need to read the answer to that. You can absolutely play Call of Duty Mobile for free. The pre-registration is now open for Call of Duty Mobile, but there actually is a soft launch right now. And if you guys are interested in actually playing Call of Duty Mobile currently, right now, like anyone can play it, whether you're on Android or iOS, all you need to do is download a VPN of your choice. If any VPNs want to sponsor me, feel free. Till then, VPN of your choice, download Call of Duty using a Canadian Apple ID or a Canadian Google Play account, and then you can play it while you're on your VPN. It's pretty easy. You can actually go ahead and play Call of Duty Mobile right now, anywhere in the world, as long as you want to deal with a slight ping disadvantage. But really, in reality, there is a lot of bots in it right now because it is the soft launch so you'll be able to have a pretty decent experience just kind of slaying out bots and getting used to the game mechanics which is kind of what I've been doing I've been playing it a little bit here and there but not really grinding it as such because there's no reason for me to do so just yet now five days ago Justin Taylor actually tweeted out Call of Duty Mobile is the top free game in the App Store in Canada stay tuned about plans for the US so if you didn't know Call of Duty reached the number one spot for the free apps market in, in Canada which is very good. I honestly believe that it will probably stay there as soon as this game releases and it will be the number one app not only in Canada but probably the rest of the world and the global market as a whole and um, just because of the fan base that Call of Duty actually has in general which is pretty huge but him saying stay tuned about plans for US kind of leads me to believe that it's going to be releasing soon because he wouldn't say stay tuned that's something that you would say um, if there was an, a break between a TV show, like stay tuned for what happens after the break, stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog, stay tuned to see what happens in tomorrow's video, stay tuned, you see my point. It's coming sometime pretty soon, and the fact that they are getting people to pre-register now for the global release and not just the China release leads me to believe that it will be sometime in the next month. 
but like I said earlier in the video, you can actually play this game anywhere in the world right now just by going and downloading a VPN, then getting a Canadian Apple ID or an Australian one, downloading it off the App Store or the Google Play Store, you can do it on both iOS and Android, and then you can play while you're connected to your VPN. As you can see on screen right now, Justin also said pre-register for the Call of Duty Mobile now and be ready when we launch in your country. So it seems like Justin's pretty excited here. I mean, it's pretty obvious why he would be because he is the senior director of digital marketing at Activision. He literally handles all the marketing that goes into uh, the Call of Duty franchise. He was hired back in 2017, so he's pretty reputable. If you guys wanna follow his Twitter, like I said at the beginning of the video, it will be in the description so that you can keep up, keep up to date with everything that this guy says, because as far as I'm concerned, this person will probably continue to say stuff about Call of Duty Mobile in the future, and he will probably be able to give you some really good insights into what is happening in the Call of Duty Mobile scene. With that being said, that's all I've got to say today, guys, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember, you can literally play Call of Duty Mobile right now on iOS and Android. All you need to do is download a VPN. If anyone has any VPNs that they use and that are really good, feel free to put them in the comments. I'm not going to say any myself because I don't want to try I don't want to lose any sponsorships over this uh, that I may have in the works for the coming videos. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to go and download Call of Duty Mobile if you want to try it out for yourself. And maybe if you don't like it, then you don't need to play it. Or you can just simply wait until the global release. As soon as I find out any more information about Call of Duty Mobile's global release and when it is actually coming to every single country in the world, I will let you guys know and upload it straight away. It's been your boy Frog. I hope you have a fantastic day. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications if you want to be notified of when I upload a video. And without further ado... Let's roll the outro. Bye. Bye.